Well, Chef, it is on the South Africa finding. These are the first results that we've seen for either Pfizer or Moderna's vaccines against that concerning B1351 variant. And they're very strong. 800 participants were in Pfizer's trial in that country. And there were nine cases of COVID seen all among people who got the placebo, none on vaccine. Now, these are small numbers, but they suggest the vaccine protects well against that variant. And remember, this is the one that's so concerning for its ability to partially evade vaccines that the NIH started a trial this week of a modified Moderna shot tailored to this strain. Now, whether we'll need that or other booster shots is not yet clear, although many believe that this round of shots won't be our only one. Now, the other news on the results out to six months means that Pfizer now has enough data to file for full approval of the vaccine with the FDA. This would mean the vaccine wouldn't be authorized only for emergency use anymore, which could lead employers or schools to feel more comfortable potentially requiring vaccinations, Chef. And Meg, J&J &J threw out millions of doses yesterday, I guess it was, because of some sort of production mix-up. What happened? Yeah, so these were doses being made by J&J's manufacturing partner, Emergent Biosolutions. And NBC confirmed today from a senior administration official that a batch of J&J's vaccine became contaminated with ingredients from AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine, which Emergent is also making at the same plant. I spoke with Emergent CEO Bob Kramer this afternoon, and he denied that's what happened. It isn't the case or wasn't the case where an ingredient from one vaccine contaminated or impacted the other. It was more simply the fact that a one production run, one batch of product uh, was determined to be inconsistent with our quality specifications. Now, importantly, this doesn't affect any doses of J&J's vaccine that are available now. And J&J says it still plans to meet its supply goals. Very Shep good. Meg Terrell, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.